this one is shape area and it's in PHP. So below we will define an interesting polygon. Your task is to find the area of a polygon for a given n. Now this is the interesting polygon sequence here and we just need to find the area for when n is equal to say 5, what's the area of our interesting polygon? If you haven't worked with interesting polygons before, it can be very confusing and very difficult. So I'm going to explain how to find the area of the interesting polygon, and then we're going to move on to the um, solution. So we've got n is equal to 1 here, so we'll just count that 1 square, and we've got 1. <laughs> so our area is 1. Um, it can be very difficult at the beginning of the sequence to see the pattern, but as we move on to sort of n is equal to 4, um, it will be a lot more clearer. So here, I'm just going to sort of shade it, sort of thing. Goodness me. Right. So this is from our original one. So we're now moving over, and then we want all what we want to do is count the outside squares. So we've got 1 and 2, and then we need to recount them. So all the corners we need to recount. So 1, 2, and then 3 and 4. 5 and 6, 7 and 8. So we've got eight. So, but how many have we counted twice? Well, we've counted this one twice, uh, this one twice, this one twice, and this one twice. So we've got our first one here, which is 1. So we've got 1. So um, 1 plus uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So plus 8 minus how many did we count twice? Well, we counted 4 of the squares twice. So our area should be 1 plus 8 minus 4. So 1 plus 8 is 9, minus 4 is 5. Man, this is difficult. So our area should be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct. Now if we move, uh, move over to the next one, um, all of these here, I'm just going to sort of go like this. We don't need to think about these squares because we've already counted them. And that equals to 5. So if we just put 5 up here. And then we need to do exactly the same and count all of the outside squares. However, counting the corners twice, like from each row. So 1, 2, 3. And then the next row, 1, 2, 3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. So if we do 5 plus 12, however, we then need to minus how many did we count twice? Well, we've counted 4 twice. We've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if we then do minus 4, so, goodness. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong one here. Custom. So 5 plus 12 minus 4. So 5 plus 12 gives us 17. 17 minus 4 um, gives us 13. So now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our result, I'm just going to put it down here for now. Our area is 13. Oh yeah, I've got my areas down here, goodness. Area is 5. That looks like a 6. So I'm going to do the second one now, or the, the last one, the fourth one. Once again, we've already got 
all of this counted. All of these ones here are counted from our sort of last calculation. So don't think about them ones. Only think about the outside ones. Count each row. So one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So oh, we've got our last our previous area, which is thirteen. We then want to do 13 plus the 16 that we've just counted for the outside. And then we need to minus however many we've counted twice. So whichever's got the two ones in. So we've got one, two, three, and four. So if we then minus four. So 13 plus 16 is 29. 29 minus 4 gives us 25. So I'll just put 25 down here. And then if we just count them very quickly. So we've got our original one here, which was 13. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 is our area. So now I've gone sort of through the working out, we need to just sort of um, turn this working out into um, code, into a function. And the way in how we're going to do that is first of all, oh, we always start off with the value one. So we want to do um, value is equal to one. And we need to do our semicolons. Goodness. Uh, the next one we want to do is a for loop. So for i is equal to 2. Come on. For i is equal to 2. i is less than or equal to n. I'll explain all of this. Oh, why have I put 9 there? I'll explain all of this once I've done the loop. And then we want to do i, increment i by 1 each time. So I'm just going to do um, echo, and we'll echo i. Ooh. Run the tests. So console output is 2, n is 2. Here we've got two and three, and then here we've just got the one. I'm gonna try and get a long one to explain. Ah, five. So we've got one, two, three, and four, and our result is two, three, four, and five. So the reason why we've got all of this up here is we always start off with the number one. And the next one which we want to start off with is number two, because we've got number one already, it's always one. So we actually want to start our loop on the second value. So i is equal to 2. And then we want to make it equal um, less than or equal to n. So n here is 5. So that means we're going to have five polygon, five interesting polygons. So if we do, if we count all of the area up until polygon 5, or including polygon 5, and then we're incrementing sort of the polygon. Once we've counted it, we're going to add it onto the value, and then we're going to count the next polygon. So if this n was equal to 4, we would then be counting this polygon here. Or, let's go to test 1, n is equal to 2. So the expected output is 5, which is the area of the second polygon. So our console, log out, our console output is 2, and that's because we're going to be counting the second polygon. I hope I've explained that as well as I can. It's, it's, it's very confusing, it really is, and it's very difficult to get it first time round. So we've got value is equal to 1, and now we want to change that value um, 
to equal the value of the polygon that we're now counting. So for example here, it's going to be 2. So we want to count number 2. If we do value is equal to um, value plus, and then if we go to our working out, what we've got here is we're counting each side once. So 2, we've got 1 and 2. So if we do 2 times 4, it's actually going to give us 8. Here, if we do 3 times 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 times 4 is going to get us that 12. And once again here, this, this is the pattern. 4 times 4 is going to give us the 16 number that we want. So if we was going to do i times 4, we're going to get that value. But then because we're time we because we're counting each side individually, go back to our working out, we are counting these corners twice each time. So we need to take away 4, which is what we've been doing. We've been minusing 4 at the end. So if we do minus 4, I believe we have to wrap these in brackets because of um, bod mass. Um, that will actually give us the values that we want. So we'll go to we'll, we'll follow the function with, with, with our working out. So value, our value is equal to 1. And then the next, the loop, the, the loop will then start at number 2. So we've got our value, which is 1, 1 plus, and then that would be 5, because we've got i times 4, and we're on loop 2, so that would be 2 times 4, which will give us 8, minus the 4, which will give us the 5, plus the 1. So we've actually replicated the working out up here into our function over here. We've got 1 plus 8 minus 4. If we go to the next one here, we're now going to be on loop 3. So say n, was, n is now equal to 3. So we've looped it through once, and now we're looping for a third time or a second time, but i will equal to 3 now because we're incrementing by 1. It'll be exactly the same. Our value would now be equal to 5 from the previous loop. And then, so we've got 5 here, plus the 12, because we've got 3 times 4, which is 12, minus the 4, minus the 4. So it's exactly the same. That will give us our new value of 13. And if we go to the next one, our new value is now 13. So we've got 13 plus i times 4, which would be 4 times 4, 16 minus the 4, exactly the same. And then that will give us our answer of 25. So all what's left for us to do is to return the value. Run our tests, and we've passed. If you're still confused on stuff, let me know. I'll try and explain in the um, comments or do a follow-up video. But this is the final uh, code for shape area in PHP.